For many years, I used to lecture on the subject of threats to freedom in the New World Order. I used to speak in many places such as Thailand, Malaysia, Indonesia, the Philippines, largely to Australian audiences about threats to freedom in the New World Order. And the very last day of any consequence that I did that was in a place called Cebu in the Philippines on September 11th, that famous day. And many people used to think that I would speak about, oh, the Bilderbergers, the Trilateral Commission, many other organizations that some people think rule the world and against whom they believe you can do absolutely nothing to preserve your personal freedom. And I do believe that governments everywhere have a desire to destroy freedom. Their goal is complete and utter control of our lives and the elimination of freedom of communication. They want to control the media and that's why Canada has Canadian human rights commissions and tribunals that decide what you can hear and even who you can see on the internet and whether Canadians are allowed to post on uh, websites even in the United States where it's free to do so, all of that. And then of course we have governments wanting to ban people from coming into our country like Galloway coming in to speak about the destruction of the Palestinians in Gaza. The governments want to make sure we don't think, quote, the wrong way. They want us to know that everything's fine in uh, the Tamil situation and we shouldn't be objecting to what the uh, government of Sri Lanka does to its Tamil minorities. Uh, they basically want to control everything we think. And the way they do it largely is through taxation and control of the money that we earn through the work that we do. And this is how governments all around the world basically have a common interest. When I say governments, I mean those people who believe they know better than you do and they know how to get elected by lying to the people during elections and, and we all know what that means. Politicians primarily have the function of persuading people that they're going to do things that they probably never intend to do and then calling it democracy and then making sure that between elections no one hears anything to the contrary. Well, I have a solution, and it's you, and it's me. And we have within us the power to be free, the power to laugh, the power to cry, the power to put the world at naught. And that is by being within our spirit free, and by knowing that we have the power within us to communicate love and truth, and fearlessly to do so. And that's why this little vehicle of these little video commentaries and vignettes have meant so much to me that I might communicate with you the knowledge that you uh, can be set free. And when you're not sure what to do, follow your dreams, follow your heart. Do what you know to be in the interests of truth and justice and freedom. And by being so courageous, you will find within yourself the knowledge of what God put there. And a lot of times you wonder, well, how can I do this? How can I ever hope to be able to communicate fearlessly when I have fear? Well, my friends, the simple truth is that you can put your hand into the hand of God and it shall be better for you than any known way. And I don't mean by that the blind following of some religious cult but I do mean that the faith that lies within you to do that which you know to be right. Follow your conscience, follow your dreams, and put the world at naught. And by that I mean don't worry about what others think. The power of disapprobation has been so often the vehicle of suppression and of the elimination of the very spirit of divine truth that lies within us. We all know it's there. And we all sometimes try to ignore it, and we all at times uh, try to evade the responsibility to be true to ourselves and to God. And yet, it still lies within us to do that at any moment, and to put all those powers that try to control us, the tax department, the politicians, the media, it, it is all meaningless when we listen to the little voice within us that says, uh, the truth and the truth shall set you free. 
And I have, uh, over my life, come to realize that when you do the right thing, uh, money, the means to do it, and the people to help you do it will come. So I just want to extend that message of hope, of joy, of purpose, of peace to you, and to each of you, uh, a very pleasant summer and spring. It's uh, very pleasant here. You can see the rock walls. I built those rock walls behind me in trying to uh, put away all those thoughts that trouble us from time to time. And uh, when I put one stone upon another and I put the mortar between them and you can see the, the results. I mean, it took years to do all this and I don't do it a lot at a given time, but it's like communicating one stone upon a stone, one day upon a day, and one message of truth and hope upon another. And eventually you build a structure that cannot be destroyed because the truth will last forever. And that's our great confidence and our great hope. Looks good to see something you've built and know that it'll be there for others to see. Hope you enjoyed this. Thanks.